Social media. It helps us build communities, make friends, and share our thoughts with the world. At the same time, social media can make us compare ourselves to others, second guess ourselves, or even make our lives feel insignificant. Social media is simultaneously the most powerful and destructive tool of this generation. Just about a month ago, I realized that I was addicted to social media. I would open up Instagram or Facebook whenever I felt the slightest bit of boredom and barely realized I was doing it. After thinking it through, I decided to delete Facebook and Instagram apps for 10 days. I felt like if I did this, my world was going to topple and that people would completely forget about me. But I built up the courage and eventually deleted these two apps. I ended up having a very productive and mentally clear 10 days. After these 10 days went by, I didn't even feel the urge to re-download the apps. During these days, I felt more creative, connected to other people, and more productive. I was more confident to be myself and was less concerned what other people think. I didn't realize, but I was deeply in the comparison trap, subconsciously comparing myself to others. This was especially in the musical sense, always feeling like I needed to play everything everyone else could. On most social media, you only see the highlight reel of everyone's lives, and it's easy to think that that's how their whole life looks. This can easily turn into feeling like your life is boring or insignificant, even if this isn't the case at all. As a quick side note, comparing yourself isn't always a bad thing. To a certain extent, you wanna see where your peers are, especially in the music world. This only becomes a bad thing when it creates anxiety or depression around your own vision or situation. The other main thing I got from this detox is help minimizing my distractions. I didn't go on my phone whenever I was bored and this gave me time for much deeper thought. This absence of distraction and blind scrolling helped me focus much more effectively. During my 10 days of no social media, I didn't miss out on a single thing. I eventually re-downloaded these apps and set a 10 minute daily limit on each. If I find myself hitting this limit frequently, I might need to have another 10 day break. This 10 day social media detox is something I would recommend to everyone to see the true pros and cons of these tools. This task is all about being mindful of your social media usage and its effects on your life. I now feel that I use social media much more effectively and have a clear view of its pros and cons in my life. Thanks so much for watching guys and consider subscribing to my channel for weekly videos. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day. Oh,